Hi, I'm Lucien Wishick. I've been trying to get OpenCV to work via NuGet. Here are the steps I'm going to use to consume it. I'll create a new C++ project. And I'll manage NuGet references. Now the NuGet OpenCV packages are still pre-released that I uploaded. So let's find them there. There are three packages here. That's because I've broken up OpenCV into its ultimately 15 constituent parts. So far only three of them are available. Image Codex is the one I'm going to use. That actually depends upon Image Prop, which in turn depends upon Core. So when I install this, it's going to pick up all three of them. And we can see that all three of them are now downloaded successfully. So I'm going to write some code that uses OpenCV. Inside my main page .xaml.c++, I'll add some header files and some using statements. And then I can write inside my main page constructor the actual OpenCV code. I want to write stuff into a XAML image control, so I'll add that to my main page .xaml. And finally, what this code does is it loads up a file called demo.jpg. So I'll find a file and add it into my project. By the way, when I drag files in, they normally go inside the assets folder, but this code assumes that the file is in the root folder. Now if I run this, it will work correctly. What's exciting is that the NuGet package contains all different flavors. For instance, if I switch to x64 release, it will automatically pick up the correct version of the OpenCV binaries. I want to show you what it's like to debug step into the OpenCV source code itself. Let's suppose I run this program. At this moment, under the debug windows modules, if I sort it by name and look for OpenCV, I can see that it's loaded these DLLs, but it hasn't been able to find the PDBs. So to get those PDBs, I put them up here temporarily on my blog page. I couldn't figure out how to upload them to a symbol server. So instead, we're going to save them onto a location on my local machine. It's 42 megabytes. I'm going to right click properties unblock so it no longer has the mark of the web and I'll extract all. I'm sorry, that's not truly the mark of the web. It's called the Internet Security Zone Privileged bit, incorrectly known as mark of the web. Back here, I can load the symbols by pointing to that new location where I downloaded them to. They were in the, I'm building x86, so those are the symbols it will pick up. And because it knows that directory, it will also be able to find other directories. Now if I hit step into a few times, it's actually stepping through C++ header files just for now. So nothing special yet. This create to method is the first method that resided in an OpenCV DLL from the NuGet package. And there's something kind of weird about C++ debugging that I don't understand. If I step into this particular function, it claims that source code is not available. I can view disassembly, and it's got this kind of indirection table. If I step in a second time, then it can't find it. It's looking for a file on disk, and that's because I failed to set up debug support. Let's cancel debugging, tools, options, debugging, general. I'm going to turn off just my code, and I'm going to enable source 
server support. That's because the source code for OpenCV is online on GitHub. It's not on my local machine. If I run this code once again, once again, step into specific, view disassembly, step into. This time it has successfully managed to download source code from GitHub. I might as well close the disassembly view, double click on my call stack. And now it's able to step into the source code of OpenCV, which it fetched automatically from GitHub. And there we have it. OpenCV delivered by NuGet package with the symbols and with the source code server support for easier debugging. Thank you.